Another way that you can get more positive reviews on Fiverr is to make sure that you leave a review for the buyers. So you can see here underneath my gig, you can see the reviews that I've received. Now after the gig is completed, after they leave their review, I have an option to review them. And this is a great opportunity to say more than just thanks. Uh, it's a way to show new buyers that you engage with the customers. And that's if they can see that there's a response, they're more likely to leave a review. And also this is a place where you can make yourself look better, basically. And uh, you can add little comments here that seem like nothing, but they do build up a lot of social proof and you can bring it pro across points that you want to. For example, thanks for a great job, well done. Now I've said excellent feedback, Deborah. So even the word excellent, makes it sound really good um, and then I also said welcome back anytime so I've kind of put in her mind that yeah this is maybe not a one-time thing she could come back um, and you know I'm waiting here to help her if she wants to do that now further down I have another comment from somebody who said amazing personalization so again I've said excellent feedback now what he said is would have liked a little more insight into my keywords in SEO well actually this gig didn't include that at all and he didn't buy the gig extra so I just want to point that out to him and also to any other buyers who would think that I didn't deliver on what I did so I said thanks again for insights to your SEO check out my SEO gig so I think people if they saw that they could at least see oh yeah SEO wasn't even a part of this gig so the guy's kind of wrong and Dara still did a good job so that's another opportunity there um, so I think it's definitely worth more just uh, than just saying thanks or just clicking the five stars. You can actually use that as an opportunity. Here's another example of another seller. This guy's a copywriter and I think he does a pretty good job here. Awesome customer, fine return customer. This is what I like because it shows people that he's got a lot of return customers coming in. High, highly valued return customer. So that is another way to, to get people into the mindset is, oh yeah, I could come back, I could do this again. This is a guy that that was so good that people are coming back to him. So he's, he's selling himself again in these uh, responses. Much appreciated. Thanks so much. So it doesn't have to be, you know, all of the time, but uh, you can see that sometimes when appropriate, um, you can say that additional piece of information that'll help you really give more social proof, convince people to buy, show that you've got great engagement with people which encourages more reviews. And to leave those reviews, it's very simple. After the person inside the gig leaves their review, you'll have an option to review them. You get a notification about it anyway, so it, they're hard to miss. It's pretty easy to do, um, and you can even edit them if you need it. So I would encourage you to review the buyers uh, of your gigs and to even add in a little bit more information to help give more context to some reviews that maybe aren't five stars, like or four stars, three stars. And sometimes I've done this as well. If, if I've got a three star review um, and even I've offered to cancel it, they decide not to cancel it and just to leave the review, I say, you know, so, uh, sorry to see the three star review here. Note that I did offer to refund you in full and um, you know as I do for all customers something like that so that's a kind of another way that you can use it if things aren't so positive if it's not excellent feedback excellent feedback it can be look you know I did offer to cancel the gig and refund you in full um, unfortunate to see that wasn't satisfactory for you but I guess uh, maybe next time we can you know work it out or something like that so that'll be my tips um, I would use this heavily and my opinion is that Google when they're looking at the top rated seller status they look at sellers who do this because it's very social and as you may know the top rated seller status is hand picked and in my opinion I did this right from the start and I think this was a contributing factor to me getting that top rated seller status quickly so I'd encourage you to do it.